NASA's asteroid deflecting DART spacecraft is being tested today for the first time. Very exciting. So for a closer look at this, we're joined by Rachel Ward-Maxwell, staff astronomer at the Ontario Science Centre. Uh, Rachel, we were speaking earlier, and this is really history in the making, the first time that something like this has ever been done. So in terms of what we can expect to see, I know that you'll be watching the stream on NASA's website. What exactly will we be looking for? What will deem this to be a successful mission? So there's actually two goals of this mission. The DART mission, double asteroid redirection test. The first test is to actually see if the spacecraft can hit an asteroid. This asteroid is 11 million kilometers away from us. And so it's, that's a huge challenge. As the spacecraft approaches the asteroid, it will actually be operating autonomously on mm. its own as it flies toward and collides with the spacecraft. Pardon me, collides with the asteroid. The second part of the test is whether or not it can actually shift this asteroid asteroid in its orbit, the whole purpose of this test being planetary defense. So, Whoa. Rachel, when it comes to the size of this, you know, the size of the asteroid compared to the size of the of the dart itself, what's what's the sort of ratio there? So the asteroid, you can think of it as about one and a half football fields in size. Mm -hmm. It's about yeah. 160 meters across. And then the spacecraft that's hitting it with its solar arrays fully extended is about the size of a school bus, maybe mm -hmm. a bit larger. So mm -hmm. it's quite a bit smaller. And so that'll be something that we'll have to wait and see what happens, whether or not uh, a device of this size can make an impact with an asteroid that's this large. Right, Rachel, all I'm picturing now is kind of like a school bus with wings and a giant <laughs> football field. Think how does this work? How could this possibly defect something of that size? Yeah. Is it the speed? What kind of mechanism is at work here? So this is a kinetic impactor. So we're really looking at an object that is creating uh, impulse transfer of momentum. So it is the speed that's trying mm. to push the asteroid uh, in its orbit around its larger companion. So it's actually a two asteroid system. That's why it's called the double asteroid redirection test. And how is NASA positioning this? I mean, is NASA suggesting that this is going to work, that they have a lot of confidence in it? Or is it kind of a well, we're going to wait and see. <laughs> the engineering team is absolutely very confident that the impact will occur later today. And a big part of it, that's going to be a big success for the first half of this test. And whether or not it will deflect the asteroid, that's something that ground-based observatories, telescopes all over the world are going to be looking at when they observe this asteroid system over the next few weeks. And if this doesn't work, then it's on to the next mm -hmm. test. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's all what science is. It's doing experiments and learning as much right. as you can. Yeah, absolutely. So Rachel, uh, just to clarify, they already know the size of this asteroid that they're planning to hit. So let's say in the future situation, there's another asteroid and it's bigger. Would they customize, you know, the DART machine to be closer to the size of that? That's a great question. And so that's something that we'll see the results of this impact and, and whether we would then have to scale up or whether we would have to take a completely different approach. There's lots of different techniques for asteroid deflection and planetary defense. This is just the very first one. But for much larger asteroids that were greater than a kilometer in size, then you would have to go to a completely different mm -hmm. type of mm -hmm. technique. Rachel, I'm sure this must be sort of, you know, setting off so much curiosity. What else is happening at the Ontario Science Centre these days to sort of help sort of satisfy people's cravings for what's going on all around us? Yes, absolutely. If you want to learn more about asteroids and these different types of techniques, we have a film on right now, Asteroid Hunters, in our IMAX theater. Um, you can check out our website for showtimes and tickets. And it really goes into detail about this and other types of missions in, or, uh, in order to, and the teams that are working on uh, defending our planet against uh, space debris and, yeah. and uh Aliens. Everything that's out there. <laughs> <laughs> not, <laughs> aliens, <laughs> not aliens. Not aliens. Yeah. I have to say that. Sorry. The child in me. Big yeah. asteroid it feels not like happening tonight. It's like a Hollywood tonight. movie, yeah. though, what's happening today. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Rachel, a uh, great conversation. Thanks mm -hmm. so much for joining us. Rachel uh, Ward Maxwell is a staff astronomer at the Ontario Science Centre. Great conversation. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care.